in more than one parable, we can find a common pattern that Jesus offers us. The pattern is an owner who entrusts one of his servants with, a, with an important amount of goods. The owner leaves, and then the owner comes back to make sure he was making good use of the goods. What is what normally happens in the parable? When the owner is away for too long, the servant who stays in charge forgets he's only a servant and he thinks he becomes the owner. Think about it. When the owner is away, the steward who is in charge forgets he's a servant and gets confused and, be, and thinks he's the owner. That's exactly what happens to the parable of today. When the owner was gone for too long, the steward started to be like a dictator and he started beating up the other servants and he started to get drunk and he started to eat too much. This idea of forgetting that you are a servant and thinking that you're an owner it's a beautiful image for each of our lives. Because sometimes, when the owner is gone for too long, we forget that we are only stewards and that we're not owners. And when I say this, I say we're not owners of our time, we're not owners of our talents, and we're not owners of our treasures. But sometimes we act as if we own these three things instead of just recognizing ourselves as being stewards. So in this month of stewardship, I think this parable is perfect for us parishioners at St. Mark's because it's a new reminder. Or it's, in any case, it's a good questioning where we can ask ourselves, Am I acting as if I, as if I was only an owner of what I possess? Or am I fully aware that I'm just a steward who will be taken account, who will be asked to give accountability of what he owns? So today, brothers and sisters, let us, the gospel and the word of the Lord, remind us that we were never owners but we were just stewards. And when we start to think we're owners, we do a really lousy job in administering our talents. But the more we remind ourselves that we are not owners, but we're only stewards, the better use of everything we have received, we do.